EPA Dickway Meteorologist Bobby Marchage here with your Outlook for July 26, 2021. It is Monday, start of the new work week. We have a weak cold front boundary that actually tried to push through yesterday and brought a few areas, some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and not, not too many, just a few areas. And uh, that is going to be moving off to our south and east today. But with that, associated with that, is a lot of clouds. And you're going to have a lot of clouds this morning that are going to gradually decrease this afternoon to the point where it'll be mostly sunny by evening, I think, and then mostly clear overnight. So it's going to move out. Uh, it's going to take some time to do so. It's a very gradual process with this frontal boundary off to our southeast and right about here this morning. And it's going to be moving off in this direction like that. So it's going to take us time uh, moving off to the south and east. But when it does so, you will have the clearing take place. Here's the name high res. Future simulated satellite. This is looking at 7 a.m. Plenty of clouds across the region. Cloudy or either overcast or mostly cloudy. And that's going to be pretty much the case through the morning hours. You can see here, there's noon. Now look at the sharp cutoff. This is at noon now. Okay. Uh, sharp cutoff here where you go from near 100% cloud cover to nothing. Okay. And that's going to be, uh, for, you know, State College, Williamsport, maybe Wilkesbury or thereabout. Uh, or just north of there uh, at, at noon is in clear sun in between the middle area is kind of partly to mostly cloudy in between uh, but this will clear out as and move off to the south and east over the next several hours so between 12 and 3 i think is your time period where you have the uh you know for for southeastern areas and our central or southeastern areas to see the sun finally come out and it's going to be you got a lot of zeros up here that means it's just going to be bright and sunny uh, once this finally clears and again mostly clear overnight tonight so just keep that in mind today if you see the clouds this morning like oh no it blew the forecast it's going to be raining today no it's not going to be raining today actually uh the areas i uh, let me show you something real quick and draw an area if you're going to get something isolated today it would be right in here that's it those areas right there uh could see an isolated shower or storm okay as that front is exiting because that's where about where it's going to be this morning. So once it moves south and east, of course, northwest to southeast is going to eliminate that shower threat. Okay, so that the areas that could possibly see that until that front clears is very close to the coastline uh, from the New Jersey coast down to the Delaware and Ocean City, Maryland coastal areas. Okay, so that is today. After that, uh, we are mostly sunny here on Tuesday. Now, the next couple days, these next, these two days starting off here are going to be very, very hot. Uh, we're at temperatures that are going to be 90 or ish. Uh, they're about, here's 87 to 92 is the spread today. I have the, the mostly cloudy symbol here because that's where we're starting. We're starting off clouds and then eventually uh, changing to sun and then mostly sunny tomorrow. Both days are the 87 to 92, 88 to 93 range. Okay, so it's very hot. But... Uh, the difference is that the winds are going to be out of the northwest today, north-northwest, uh, so that means uh, we're going to have the humidity on the lower side. So this is kind of like, you ever hear those people in Arizona, it's like, oh, well, it's 110 degrees, but it's a dry heat, so it's no big deal. Uh, this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of like that, okay? So you have, you know, near 90 degrees, which is typically, everybody knows it's hot, okay? It's going to be hot, but the humidity is not going to be crazy today, not too oppressive, and that's why there's no... Uh, heat headlines from the National Weather Service, whether it be heat advisory or excessive heat warning, you won't see any of that either the, uh, the next two days because of that northwesterly wind flow. Okay, so not too bad over the next couple of days. Mostly sunny today, or excuse me, mostly sunny Tuesday. Once we get to Wednesday, we have a weak disturbance moving off to our north here on Tuesday night, and then there could be a stray shower associated with that in just a few spots, maybe, I mean, a quick 15 minute shower kind of thing. Here on two on uh, Wednesday afternoon, partly cloudy. Otherwise, uh, not quite as hot because you have that mid level mid level disturbance in the vicinity. So we're going to lower by a couple degrees, maybe three four degrees, from what we see as a high on Tuesday to Wednesday. And then we have scattered thunderstorms coming at us here on Thursday with the next cold front. That is going to be the next chance for uh, anything organized as far as rainfall. And here you can see that. Moving through the region, scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day on Thursday and Thursday evening. I uh, might have to watch this for some severe weather too, because on the other opposite side of this, there's a big trough sitting up here behind this cold front. Uh, cold front here is situated like this. Okay, here's a low pressure driving it, right? Up here, you have some, uh, is a trough of cooler air that's going to settle in for the end of the week. It's going to be quite cool 
uh, compared to what we're going to be having over the uh, to start the week here today, uh, today and tomorrow, with uh, either side of 90 degrees. When we get to the end of the week, when we get to Friday, on the opposite side of that front that comes through on, on Thursday, which, by the way, we're going to have timing uh, nailed down once we get a little bit closer, but it, we'll just say afternoon and evening for right now. Once you get to Friday and Saturday, temperatures are going to be on either side of 80 degrees. You might have some areas not getting out of the 70s for highs here on uh, on both days, possibly, especially further north and northwest uh, once we get to Friday and Saturday. But we are expecting mostly sunny skies both days. It's going to be refreshing, folks. It's going to be a low humidity, uh, upper 70s to low 80s type uh, configuration here for, uh, for both Friday and Saturday. Mostly sunny both days. Fantastic weather during that stretch. And then we have a cold front that's going to be moving toward the region here on Sunday. Uh, right now, the global models are not thrilled with any precipitation for our region. We're going to call it partly cloudy for now, and we'll re-examine that throughout the week and see if there's any precipitation that does try to form along that boundary here on Sunday. But it looks like it's going to come through on Sunday night. And if that's the case, there probably won't be any precipitation with it. Uh, but if it does come in a little bit earlier, it could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms associated with that frontal boundary. You can see where that is right here. It's the frontal boundary right here. And this is uh, looking at late in the day on Sunday. So we'll call it partly cloudy on Sunday and watch out throughout the week and see if we have to make any adjustments. But right now it looks like uh, Sunday is going to be a little bit warmer uh, than, than Friday and Saturday because you're going to add to that cold front. you got a southwesterly wind flow that raises temperatures. Just going to be for a day, though. Uh, cold front comes through and likely the following week once we get into uh, August 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th kind of time frame there. We're probably... Just very slightly below average again uh, to start the beginning of August. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for July 26, 2021. Have a great Monday.